what's up YouTube man it's be the motivator and I'm here logging today at the I repeat the Jackson State University we're just behind the scenes a little bit uh, checking out my brother and the Jackson State University football team so let's get into it man we got to just check it out we got coach B here what's up man we're just watching the practice today um, but we really are here for the primetime takeover event. It's still that birthday party or in this event, it's a gala. So we're here for that. We got, we got our suits, got our tuxedos, got our dresses, our bow ties, tuxedo shirts, all of that stuff. And so we just taking it in, man. We rolled down here about eight hours. And we're going to ride back eight hours tomorrow on Sunday. So it's going to be pretty cool. The goal of this vlog is for you to see what I see. So I'm just trying to capture whatever, you know, the cool stuff that goes on in my life as you know you know I want to motivate I like to skate but uh, football is a big part of my life also as you can see so take a look at this stadium man it's pretty pretty amazing all right this is where they play ball at and I've been here many times before but this is the first time that I decided to turn my camera on now, I will say that you know my video may be limited due to the fact that I don't know exactly what I can and cannot video I'm a gracious you know guest uh, coming here just to check out, like I said, get to hang out with my little brother and with some great people, some great football people, players, uh, my family. So I'm going to just, I'm going to keep it on the on the chill side. I'm definitely going to video like all of the gala, but as for the practice and things like that, I'm probably going to be limited. I might show a few things. For those that don't know, my brother Brandon is a grad assistant here, typically works with some of the you know, players and he's on the field. I come here all the time. Here like five or six times last season, caught so many games. I went down to Miami, watched um, watch them beat BMU. Uh, I went down to Tennessee, watched them beat TSU. You know, I came back here for homecoming. I came to watch them play against Prairie View. And so, yeah, we've just been traveling, 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 getting some good, good looks at the team. And it's been a great experience, man. I'm telling you, God has truly blessed me. And I'm so happy for the opportunity that my family have, has received uh, as of late. So we're just looking out. Check out Brand right there, man. That's my guy. Everybody that knows me knows Brandon for the most part. That's my heart, man. Such a great guy. Man, so proud of him. So proud of everything he does. And so we just we just getting started though. This life we have to do what we gotta do. So check out Brand right there, man. That's my guy. Everybody that knows me knows Brandon for the most part. That's my heart, man. Such a great guy. Man, so proud of him. So proud of everything he does. So we just we just getting started though. This life we have to do what we gotta do. So you see him right there, Coach Prime. Got the coaches coming out, man. Took my mic off for right now, but I'll, I'll add it in a second. Got Coach TC Taylor in the building. We got Coach. Dennis Thurman over there. It's far out, you know, we're far out with it, but you can still see him in the white. Hey man, so the boys are back in town, man. We are here, they are coming. It's time to go. Oh, I mic'd up, by the way. You mic'd up? See what's happening. Bro, say something to me today, bro. John Warren is mic'd up today. I'm getting the exclusives and I ain't even trying. <laughs> yeah, John Warren said he mic'd up, so we're gonna, we're gonna check and see for what exactly, you know. On. But I will say, man, I got to talk to Aubrey Miller. That's cool, you know, cool guy. I had to talk to Coach T.C. Taylor. I got to talk to I haven't talked to Coach O yet. Talked to Coach Flea, you know. So, yeah, man, it's, we back at it. I'm looking for big things from Jackson State this year. I be losing Brandon, boy. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I lose Brandon so much. And he got a big hat on now, so I should be able to see him. Alright, here we go. Left! 
Man, let me tell you, it's a beautiful day here in Jackson, Mississippi. I mean, goodness gracious, the sun is out, but not too much. We got birds flying, right? We got good football going on, man. And I'm just saying, I'm always so blessed to be able to come out to places like this uh, and witness greatness. This is what I'm witnessing. I'm witnessing black history. So for those that don't know, Jackson State University is a historically black college university, right? Here in Jackson, Mississippi. Black people could not always go to college with white people. So we have our own universities, it's that simple. But what I want you to focus on is the fact that primetime Deion Sanders has come down and coach and he brought his resources and his expertise, his friends, his knowledge to come and give back um, and level the college football playing field, right? I think that's very important seeing as so many African Americans make up the ranks of NFL and college football teams. However, the schools that were made for African-Americans uh, don't really get any of the spotlight, um, often have less resources, have less to work with. So it's very, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time for people to come and jump in and say, yo, look, I'm gonna take my resources and do it for us. Because if we don't do it, who gonna do it, okay? These kids are getting a chance to really get like mentorship and training. It's not just about football. They're learning how to be men, right? How to be good men, learning from good men, how to be good men. And that's what our communities need. That's what our world needs, okay? Um, so I'm here for it all the time. I try to support as much as I can. And man, like I said, it's just, this is just a look into my life, okay? So you see it here. This brings me to my motivation a minute for the day. It's everyone that matters will see the light. Okay? If you are doing something and you're doing it right, and you are aligned to God's will and you're pushing yourself and you're working hard, the people that really matter are going to see what they need to see. So it's just important that you understand that and you notice that and you think about that when you're making your decisions and when you're working and going towards what you need to or whatever God has for you. I'm going to sign off right now because you know practice is going to be ending shortly and like I said, I'll see you guys tonight. You get to see what I wear. I have to get a little haircut, things like that. But it's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to do this. Peace.